studying is well underway for 245 spellers hoping to take home the Scripps Cup. The Scripps National Spelling Bee is just days away now in National Harbor, Maryland. The preliminary round begins on Tuesday. Now there are six students from Indiana in this year's bee. Four of them are from right here in our viewing area. I had a chance to speak to those four kids and tonight I'm introducing you to Mia Miller, a Carmel seventh grader who won the regional bee at IU Indianapolis. What made you want to take part in the spelling bee this year? I started with the class one and then I kind of just I kept moving up and then they started giving me more lists and I just kept studying it and I thought it was really cool because it gave me something to do and yeah. there was just there was just so much to like learn and I thought that was <laughs> really fun. That's awesome and are you excited? How are you feeling with the National Spelling Bee coming up? I'm pretty excited. I've been studying a lot, so I feel pretty ready with all of the like materials that they've been giving me. And I'm just excited to like be in DC and be at B Week. What is your tactic for preparing? How are you going um, about it? I go through every word. I've probably gone through the words that they've given me like hundreds of times really? now each. And how are you feeling? Good. Yeah. I feel like you like you get into a groove where you can just like, okay, I got all these, like I can get these all right first try. That's awesome. And so tell me a little bit about yourself. One of our first questions is what is your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject in school is social studies oh. because um, I love history and I love learning about like different countries and different cultures. Outside of the spelling bee, what other hobbies do you have? I play the cello. I've been playing the cello since I was seven and I play in my school orchestra. I also play volleyball. Good for you, you're busy. How often do you find yourself using any of the new words you learn? Only sometimes. I think a lot of the words that um, are like on the scripts lists that I end up studying, they're kind of specific yeah. to certain like objects or feelings or like situations. So it's hard to kind of add them into normal conversation. Yeah. Also, not a lot of other people know them. Right. If I want to use them, sometimes I have to explain them. If I, you know, use them, because people are like, I don't know what that means. So yeah. only sometimes I feel it's applicable. <laughs> Can you recall a very hard word that you've been required to spell mm. in one of the competitions? I think for me it was glyceraldehyde because it was really long. But it's it's not the hardest spelling, but I think it was just long, so I had to like really How do focus. you spell it? G-L-Y-C-E-R-A-L-D-E-H-Y-D-E. -E -E. What's that process like in your head when you can't actually write it down? How do you keep I, it like, straight? I chunk it into syllables, so I got gliss. Er, al, de, hide. Ooh, okay. So then I can kind of like go through each one and then I can process it as I go. That makes sense. That makes sense. And so what are you looking forward to doing in DC? I think I'm looking forward to most just like meeting other people, like mm -hmm. meeting people who've gone through the same like um, studying as me and who have like learned all um, of the words just like I have. Like they're going to be from all over the US. There's only six people from Indiana coming. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to meet other people and I'm excited to see like just DC and seeing all the sites there is there. Well, thank you so much for being here and mm -hmm. best of luck. We'll be tracking you along the way, so we hope you make it far in the competition. <laughs> Good thank luck. Thank you. Every round of the Spelling Bee will air on Ion Plus, which is available on streaming platforms. The semifinals and finals will air live on May 29th and 30th on Ion. Just go to spellingbee.com to learn how to find Ion here in your area. And by the way, Scripps is the parent company of WRTV.